Coming here to show our children horses this close to the city. We like coming here for picnics, to walk our dogs, to ride bikes, to uh, walk along the foreshore of the Parramatta River. A hundred acres of paddocks and gardens on the Parramatta River was bequeathed to the people in 1938 and has been used as public land ever since. The group has kept horses at Dame Edith Walker Estate for several years and are being pushed off by the health department. 30 owners have been told to move their horses from the suburban acreage by Friday. These owners here have had their horses here for so many years, up to 20 years, they're being forced out by callous bureaucracy. State governments cancelled a 30-year lease, letting locals keep their horses there. And this Friday will be eviction day. Some residents fear it's the first step to lock the public out. Then, without going to tender, it told New South Wales police its mounted unit could move in. Horses will have to leave their green fields of Concord and find a new home. To make way for police horses. A handful of officers is being accused of online bullying being bullied by members of the Mounted Police. And many of the Facebook posts were created here at the Mounted Police Unit at Surrey Hill. No one in our community should have to put up with cyberbullying. And the very last people who should engage in this deplorable practice are members of the police force. The state government is putting the land out to tender after abandoning a secret takeover deal with the Mounted Police Unit. More than 200 people have rallied at the site of a rare Edwardian estate at Concord in Sydney's inner west. Today's rally is about making it clear to government that the community wants the Urala estate to remain open and accessible to the public and we won't accept any other option. With the New South Wales government with the Mounted Police and local health was nothing short of dubious. That would not deny that they were looking at selling the asset off. They and Edith Walker would be turning in her grave if she believed that the people who this estate was bequeathed to were tossed off and treated as a cavalry attack. We will not let this government ride over us. And we have less than a week or so to convince our politicians to overturn the decision. We will keep your other open for our community forever. <laughs> what do we want? Luke Foley, Leader of the Opposition in the Upper House. Question in Parliament about Urala. The Finance Minister has a Property Assets Utilisation Task Force. That task force is considered selling part of the Urala estate. Good afternoon community. On behalf of the Urala horses, their owners and the greater community, let us express how thankful we are for so many faces that are here today. It is your passion and encouragement for this plight that inspires us to keep pushing forward in our cause on your behalf. And it truly is our cause. We believe that this issue affects everyone. Some of you live next door, 
Some are just horses. Some walk their dogs, bike ride through the grounds, or bring their children to visit the horses. Yurala belongs to all of us. There are many who have felt the need to question our integrity or motivations, claiming that we are just a small self-interest group. Today, we would like to set the record straight and tell you some of our story. My name is Alexandra Gavel. I am just a horse at Yurala, and I consider myself first and foremost a member of this amazing community. I was born in the Inner West, I've grown up in the Inner West, and I still live and work in the Inner West. Anyone that has had the opportunity to keep their horse at Yurala, both in the past and present, have always considered it a privilege. But we are by no means a privileged group. We are fellow members of your community, ordinary people. I am a high school teacher at a local high school. There are teenagers here behind me that ride their bike in the afternoon to come feed and care for their horses. We have uni students, parents, childcare workers, <laughs> our healthcare workers, aircraft pilots, government workers, lifelong residents of Concord West, and even the local dog groomer. I was a 10 year old girl, absolutely obsessed with horses. Every Christmas, every birthday, in fact, I think every day, I pleaded with my parents to have a horse. Yet the closest I ever got was a few trail ride excursions um, at trail ride establishments. Horses are all that I ever thought about. As an adult, <laughs> As an adult, I actually feel a bit bad for the guilt that I put on my parents because I, I constantly <laughs> gave it to them. And I actually have my dad in the audience right now as well. He's been forced to wear one of the t-shirts. Um, but of course, it was quite unfair of me to put that pressure on them. Um, having parents who were raising three kids, struggling with the expenses of daily living and completely unable to afford the upkeep and care of horse. In 1996, a compromise was made, and I will never forget the day that I discovered Urella Estate. My dad had heard through a friend about the paddocks at Concord, and so he told, he told me that we could go and have a look. Most people here today know the feeling that the 10-year-old me was struck by when we drove through the top gates. The disbelief that a place so beautiful existed so close to home The joy in seeing horses grazing and being ridden and the immediate respect for a woman so special who left her property to the people to continue to enjoy it as she had. Thank you, Dame Edith Walker, for your gift thus far. We barely made it through the gates that day when under direct instruction we pulled over. The very horse that I met, was the very first horse I met was Seamus and I'm pretty sure that I patted every horse on the property that day. Annie, Amber, Buddy, the other Buddy, Romeo and Mikhail, just to name a few. But the most special pony that I met this day was Willie, otherwise known as Captain's, uh, Urella's Captain Willie. Willie had been one of the first horses on the property and had begun his time at Concord sharing a paddock with cattle. Willie had taught numerous children how to ride and care for horses, including me. My dreams were starting to come true the opportunity presented itself to lease Willie on weekends. I am sure my parents only consented to this at the time as a perfect way for me to learn just how time consuming and difficult horse care and ownership was. Unfortunately for them, this arrangement made me even more committed to my life goal of owning a horse. Willie passed away two years ago in the paddock at Urella at the impressive age of 37. It was a sad day for the Rally horse community. When I finished school, the first thing I did was get a job, then a horse. At 17 years old, I got my first horse, Whiskey, who's here today. Not only has Whiskey taught me so many lessons in the 11 years that we've been together, he has had the privilege of teaching many local kids how to ride and care for horses. I cannot explain to you how percept perceptive Whiskey is. Whenever I'm dealing with a lot and feeling completely lost and overwhelmed, it still amazes me how he is able to clear my mind. Often best done with a game of hide and seek in the paddock. <laughs> These horses are our best friends and our children in some respects. 
This community has always respected and valued these horses in the inner west. Many residents know the horses by their names. Some have even made up their own names for the horses. But it seems that Sydney local health district think that a horse is a horse and that they can simply just be replaced. According to our critics, we need to accept change and move on. Many of you will agree that Yurala isn't just about the horses, and this is true for the horse owners as well. Many of us have other ties to the estate that make it so precious. One of the horse owners, a lifelong resident of Concord, has shared this unique place with her family. She spent much of her youth here, has raised her three kids there, supported her mother through her dialysis treatment at the main house and shared her father's last moments when he suddenly passed away on the estate. Urella has always held a special place in my heart too, as a place that I've shared over the years with my dad. And as of December, my connection became even stronger as my fiance proposed to me at the main stairs. <laughs> I have no doubt that every person standing here today has some special memory where they hold your allergy.